Yo, what is up everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to use Mythic notifications on 5M. Now first, obviously what you're gonna do is open up your browser, type in Mythic space notify space 5M. And it should be the first one that pops up. You're gonna click it. And obviously this is the whole folder. What you can do is you just scroll down and then you're going to come to right here and download mythic, you know, mythic RP slash mythic notify. Once you have that and it's put in your resources folder, you've done all that. You're just right above it. You're going to see two examples. Now, if you scroll all the way to the top, you can see the picture examples. Now, these are good. I'm, I'm not going to say they're not, but they only really come like in use with this example right here um so with this one you actually have to t tell it what type it is and based on what type it is it'll give one of these three so inform is blue green is success and error as it you know error success and form it says in it i would i never would recommend using this it doesn't it's it's kind of pointless because with these two you can customize everything you want the background color and the color of the writing you can do anything with the, the font that's that's not hard but it, now which one of these you're going to use depends on the file you're in so for example i am going to go and i'll close that actually and so i'm going to go into my folder where my shops are and so, for example, if you're going to look, use client, like for example, you click client and then you open up the main.lua in the client folder, you're going to use the client. Now, sometimes there are server trigger events in the client file. If they have trigger client event in front of them, use the server call uh, for it. So even if it's in client, if they have trigger client event in front of it and it looks like this this example use the server one only use the client if it doesn't have trigger client event in front of it so for example we will open up my client lua and i'm going to go all the way down to the bottom so for example right here esx dot show notification this is an example. This is what it looks like in the server. Pops up in the bottom, bottom left, looks really crappy. You know, screws with your UI bar sometimes. I hate it. I hate notifications that pop up right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click right under it, just hit enter, line up, you know, the, the cursor line with the ESX file or path and just control V, just copy the exports, literally just highlight copy, come in here, paste it right under this. You don't have, and you're not, we're not gonna keep the note at this one, but I like to keep it just so I can see what's going on while I'm working on this notification. So essentially we got exports, blah, blah, blah. Normally it says in form right here, but I changed it to error. It doesn't matter what you call it right there. It, it You could probably call it pig and it wouldn't do anything. And then this is where your text is. I, I, I went simple instead of, you know, up here there's a whole bunch of paths and you know, it, it shows the minutes and how long it can be robbed, blah, blah, blah. I I don't really care, care for that, you know? I mean, it's doable. You pretty much just copy and paste it. You do need to do a little bit of like messing around sometimes to get all the parentheses and brackets in the right place. But I I normally don't care enough to do that. I've done it for a couple, so I know for a fact you can do it, but yeah, I'm lazy, so I do it an easy way. So basically, this is literally all you do. You copy and paste it, you tell it what you want to say in the text, and then the 2500, um, that, that sets the time it's it's up for. I'm pretty sure that means like 2.5 seconds or something, uh, which is fine. We we'll change that to 
two actually and save it uh, color code this is where you customize the background color so for example the background of mine is going to be red a custom red though and then this is the text color in the box which I made white so simple as that control save it you go into your server you restart whatever you have or you start your server and now look at that bam up in the top recently robbed there's the notification popping up perfectly now the other notification in the le bottom left is still there you can get rid of that if you want i'm not going to get rid of it right now because i am going to work on it a little bit but that is the gist i mean it's literally that simple like it, and you know if you have any questions feel free to comment and ask or you know hit me up when i'm streaming on twitch uh it would be illadelf tv well illadelf underscore tv or you know um you can ask me a question on the 5m forum i'm gonna post this on and yeah so for now that's pretty much it guys like you, you should be able to do it so everyone you know take care and I will see you guys next time.